Fernando Tatis Jr. has been all over the sports media world, social media included, of course, following his moonshot of a grand slam he hit against Juan Nicasio of the Texas Rangers during the eighth inning of a 10-3 game. Tatis stepped up to the plate with the bases juiced and worked a 3-0 count before absolutely drilling one over the right center field fence on a meatball from Nicasio. While this may seem just like a comfortable win turning into a blowout, the play has become a huge talking point for the never-ending debates as to whether or not baseball needs its unwritten rules, especially after the Rangers manager Chris Woodward took particular issue with the play, saying after the game, I'm not pounding my fist on the table saying this was absolutely horrendous, I just thought I went just past the line. It's a sentiment that was strangely echoed by Padres manager Jace Tingler after the game when he said, that's the last thing we'll ever take away. It's a learning opportunity and that's it, you'll grow from it, before continuing to explain that Tatis had missed a take sign from the third base coach, Glenn Hoffman, effectively selling a star player down the river. Tatis was apologetic afterwards, saying, I've been in this game since since I was a kid, man. And uh, I know a lot of unwritten rules. I was kind of lost on this one. From those experiences, you gotta learn from it. Uh, probably next time I'll take a pitch. Although it's bizarre to see him apologize for simply doing his job, the even stranger part of this entire situation is that Tingler not only left Tatis hanging out to dry, but he also completely overlooked the fact that the Rangers proceeded to throw behind Padres star Manny Machado later in the inning, looking to send a message to the perceived transgressors. I think there's a little bit of this discussion there and I wonder yeah uh, the Rangers feel about it and I think that might tell you the story a little bit I don't think they were too thrilled about swinging 3-0 maybe Tingler should have been thinking about having his players back instead of just whining about some irrelevant etiquette in a professional sport seems like some logical thinking if you ask me but hey what do I know if you listen to any of the old heads in sports media, they will without a doubt tell you baseball was America's game, and how back in the day it was the most popular thing going. And one of the most peculiar pieces of baseball's culture is its unwritten rules, or the arbitrary code that certain players, managers, and media members demand today's players continue to play by, even if they, like the game in which they reside in, are outdated. Because a lot has changed, but baseball continues to allow itself to become increasingly antiquated, refusing to change along with the culture of sports by continuing to try and quiet its young, exciting players. Maybe the game's Luddites should start listening to its players, because many of the big names, past and present, have spoken up in support of Tatis. Even an old-timer like Mr. October, Reggie Jackson, who took to Twitter to say the following, Fernando Tatis, keep playing hard and playing great. It's a pleasure to watch you play, love your success, and the Padres rise to be a winner. Keep leading the way, it ain't easy to hit home runs, keep bringing energy you have to the game, we need players like you. An all-star. Finally, an older personality in baseball making some sense. People have been going mad talking about these rules. The most obvious of them, which is talked about ad nauseum, is whether or not players should be allowed to pimp a home run by either flipping the bat, doing a slow strut out of the box, or a leisurely trot around the bases. Although there are still some sticks in the mud who refuse to let the game's young, exciting players have fun with their success, it does seem like the tide is starting to turn on this oh-so-pressing issue. Or when the very same Rangers team, just last year, decided to let a pop-up drop during the ninth inning of a fairly close game, I might add, just because they wanted to give Mike Miner, who was pitching at the time, another opportunity to strike out the batter, as he was nearing 200 total strikeouts for the season. 1-1. One, one. Popped in the air. First baseline. Guzman lets it drop, and it looked like that might have been on instruction. To be honest, it's hard to care about any of the aforementioned offenses, if you want to call them that. After all, it isn't like anyone is getting hurt. You know, unless you start throwing at guys for hitting home runs. But knowing baseball, this will continue to be a debate for the foreseeable future because it is a game that is so deeply rooted in tradition. Now that, that is dangerous, I think, when you get to this point. I was joking about dropping a ball. You got to catch that. Guzman was coming in. Yeah, see Miner drop it, drop it, drop it. And has oh so many fans that love to defend those traditions. But hey guys, which unwritten rule in baseball do you hate the most? 
join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton, and hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.